holy fucking shit balls this may be the most exciting and confusing bit of news that's just been leaked and it's a massive massive announcement for collectors so let's get into the video as some of you might know there were three alternate evolutions that came out in japanese that were exclusive um, i think they did come out possibly in chinese um but the only way you were gonna that you're gonna get these in japanese were um through a lottery campaign right so there, there's three thousand sets um so the three set three thousand vaporeons jolteons and flareons they come in a set and the only way you can get them is you join a lottery campaign in japan and then you have to physically take your deck into a store to get them it's the only way you can get them so obviously we know a fair few of those are going to end up on the secondary market and for absolute redonkulous prices yes redonkulous of course there is the espion but we will talk about that in a minute because i do have a big call to make and i will be putting a wager down so keep an eye out for that later on in the video so as you could only get these in japanese you could only get those 3000 sets for people like me and you unless we sold a testicle or a breast or a kidney or i don't know 17 toes there is no way you're gonna get your hands on these cards it's just not realistic to expect that yo man you never afford it live in the now but today we have had the news the almighty news that we're gonna get evolutions boxes in english and i must say uh, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. <laughs> i don't know what pokemon how pokemon got to this decision but it's a fucking fantastic decision they made now we know that pokemon aren't stupid right they know exactly what they're doing okay they do have some issues with printing enough product to be honest is that down to pokemon is that down to scalpers the little fuckers um who knows right it, it's i think it's a bit, little bit of both um but in an ideal world pokemon release products normal collectors like me and you buy them everyone's happy right there's no scalpers there's no idiots that are like oh quick buy 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 and then i can you know buy etbs at 65 dollars and then sell them at 200 dollars yeah i'm looking at you the dickhead on facebook all right let's see the truth what in the oh son of a bitch anyway these boxes are gonna come out on the 3rd of December or for my Americans December 3rd I'll put them up on screen somewhere here there is going to be a UK slash European version and a US version I'm not going to lie mm, that's the UK version and this one's the American version and I will hand it to my American friends you are getting the better deal um, so the only main difference is I'm going to show them show them on full screen in two seconds um, Don't time me the only difference is going to be that in the American box You're going to get the coin and you're also going to get an extra booster pack Which is a bit of a shitter because I like coins So in each of these sets you're going to get the Vaporeon, Jolteon and Flareon VMAX alternate art which is just mind blowing you're gonna get the full art v cards you're gonna get a jumbo card to go with it which to be honest i'm probably gonna look at framing them because they're fantastic pieces of art you're gonna get the colorful pin uh, you're gonna get six booster packs if you're american unfortunately europeans and british people you're gonna get five um, and then obviously in the American you're gonna get the coin um, and then obviously a code card for the TCG the UK version and the European version will come out at retail price $37.99 um, American version will come out at $39.99 in US dollars will we see these at real retail price I don't know 
I don't know. I think it it hundred percent depends on whether Pokemon can get the 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 supply out quick enough and in mass. From 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 my own perspective, I think that there will be uh, two, maybe three waves of this. I don't think. I think if Pokemon have made that decision um, to bring out something as massive as this, I don't think they're just going to do one tiny run because obviously these cards in Japanese were very, very limited. Their, their value is absolutely through the roof. So I think for from a value perspective, to bring them out in $40 boxes is obviously not going to... Um, feed the secondary market for price all that well because if every if they're readily available and they're you know they're 40 dollars everyone can grab them Mate, morty can you get to the left nipple are you kidding i'm hoping i can get to both of them rick um they're not going to be really that rare which means the value isn't going to be that high in regards to the value side of it um, I think it will put, hopefully, maybe that's the plan. Maybe they're thinking of trying to put scalpers off by putting a product out like this that has got such big cards in them that are in huge demand by putting them out in a promo box that hopefully will be readily available. That might help the collector. And if that is the case, uh, Pokemon. Thank you very much for answering our prayers. And this is such big news that I actually planned to have a video come out uh, about the new Japanese mega set that's coming out, uh, but I've postponed that. So it will be in the end card eventually when I've dropped it. Um, but for now, I had to release this video because I literally heard about this about two hours ago and I was like, I have to get this news out because I'm just, I'm completely mind mind blown like you would not imagine and the reason why is because let's just take a second to really look at these cards and the, i mean i would imagine a lot of you have seen these already some of you might not have if you don't really follow the japanese scene um but just take a look at these for a moment so up on screen now is the flareon now i do have the flareon v in japanese it is a very very beautiful card it's amazing um then you got the v max on top of that which you will get the jumbo version of as well then following on to the jolteon which i know there's a lot of people in our community that are huge jolteon fans you've got the jolteon v which has got a bit of bit of uh like spider-man vibes going on um which is kind of nice kind of like that kind of feel then you've got the v max which is massive i mean the blues in the background it's incredibly rich in color it's a fantastic card and i think picking any of these up for this price is a steal and i think anyone that decides not to buy them i, I don't understand why you would not want to uh, and then of course my ultimate favorite uh, other than Umbreon, obviously. Um, Vaporeon, the original OG that took my heart in the good old days. You get the Vaporeon V, which is all cuddled up, just chilling. Looks like me after I've had too much pizza. And the V Max is just astonishing. The artwork is ridiculous. You've got some military in the background. What else you got? You got Phoebus knocking around. You got a little just just above the right side of Vaporeon's face or his head should I say you've got a tiny little horsey that you can just about just about make out uh, you got some wishy washies at the bottom uh, some little spermy looking fish floating around you've got a mantine there as well uh, which is really interesting actually because I'll probably zoom this in on the video for you um, but that mantine right there next to Vaporeon's tail with the remoraid underneath that's actually a card already which is i love i love this little attention to detail that they've been putting in these recent sets we spoke about this in a previous video um in my eva heroes box opening uh, which i'll drop up here somewhere um where you've got like meowth um and i can't remember who else it was you got smeagol like there's a few there's raichu there's a few cards where they've just spun the angle and they've used the same background and a lot of cards match and i think it's it's just a really cool thing to do especially from an artistic point of view as i said earlier they are going to release on december 3rd whether or not 
they're going to have new packs in i mean if you look at the pack if you look at the box art there from these pictures i know these are going to be mock-ups um but on the left hand side you can see what looks like to be evolving skies and then on the right hand side um you seem to have some fusion strike packs in the background do i see do i see a chilling rain maybe i don't know maybe i do maybe i don't um so they, they will have newer sets in it would be good if they get some fusion strike packs in there and i think overall uh, it will be great to give again another product that gives us more availability towards the newer cards especially with the way scalpers have been you know lubing us up lately and so i want to know from you are you going to be picking up these boxes do you prefer the european version do you prefer the american version um if you're one of my friends in australia have you got any word on which ones you're gonna get you, does anyone know that yet let me know in the comments but before i go i need to make my big call <clears throat> Here it is. And you can remember this. It's on YouTube. It'll be here forever. Remember that. Espion. But let's talk about our boy Espion, right? So I can't imagine they're going to release these three promo boxes, and which then completes the set. So you've got the Sylveon, the Umbreon, you've got the Kantos. You've got all the evolutions except for the Espion VMAX, our sleepy boy that could only be found uh, as a sealed promo when you bought the EV Heroes collection box uh, in Japanese. So I can't imagine that's gonna be the only, the only alternate art not to come to English. So I'd like to see how that pans out, what kind of product do they put it in? Do they put it in something similar to like a Marnie carton? Do they put it in i can't imagine them putting it in a tin would they put it in a complete v box on its own a bit similar to how evolving skies had a dragonite one um honestly i'm not sure how it's going to come out but a hundred percent i genuinely believe they would i can't imagine why in a million multiverses why they would not do that but like surely that would drive collectors insane if they could collect every single one of the alternate arts and not complete the evolution set i would probably have to rethink my faith in humanity at that point but there's my call and i am wagering it i am wagering it basically the deal is if by the end of 2021 we haven't seen or heard of any confirmation of a product with the alternate art espion in then i will 100 percent be giving away an EV heroes booster box so if you want in for that subscribe to the channel like the video and at least then when i do post more videos about it you'll be one of the first to know happy days and what do you think about these boxes do you think it's a great idea are you that fussed about the value or future value of the cards are you gonna are you gonna grab these in uk american are you gonna grab them in mass like what's the deal let me know in the comments and for now i'll catch you in the next one thanks again for watching